Hi guys, happy Saturday. So, I already started to do my makeup, but I thought that I would finish it up with you guys watching. Um, in no particular order, my stuff is just all over the place. And I got my hair pulled back so I don't get makeup all over it. Which means when I take the headband off, it's going to be whatever. So I already cleansed, toned, moisturized, put on primer by uh, Philosophy, Keep the Peace. Whoops. Fuck. I already put on some translucent Clinique powder because whenever I use that Laura Geller stuff, I get too shiny. Uh, I've got my Spotify playlist in the background, which I've been adding to every day. I already did my eyelashes and a little bit of eyeliner. I didn't feel like taking too long to do that because I have to leave soon. So I'm just going to do some uh, contouring and blush and um, add to my lips. This is all MAC. This is all MAC uh, and a couple of Rimmels. I do like uh, the Kate Moss Rimmel line. Chantel recently shouted them out, but I've had these forever. I'm not a bandwagon bitch. Not when it comes to makeup. In the background, we get Roberta Flack. I really went down the, the rabbit hole this morning of nostalgia, memory lane. I'm gonna spritz on my Michael Kors Wanderlust. Oh my God, that smells really good. Where did I end off here? Um, let me do some Benefit Blush. I can't read, you know. This is called Gold Rush, which is usually something I wear in the summer when I have a little bit of a tan. This is good because it's almost like a contour and blush. I really don't follow any particular way of doing anything. I just apply it, I slap it on with a spackled knife, <laughs> and then I blend, 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 because it's all about blending and it's about it's about moisture, you know? It's about making sure I put um, under eye cream under these crackly fault lines of crow's feet. I don't have my beauty blender out here with me. I have one of these little like foundation paddle brushes, which I moistened and it's good for getting around crevices. How is everyone doing today? Here in New York, it's very hot and humid again. I'm wearing a see-through top. It's one of those like burnout tops. It's, it now has powder all over it. But I have like a lace camisole bra-esque-ish thing. I already did my eyebrows, but I'm on my way for an appointment to get powder brows put on, which is not tattooing and it's not microblading. Uh, the way the woman described it to me was that she uses an acupuncture needle and applies dots of powder. I mean, I can still say no. She, it's a consult and she's going to show me how she maps it out. And I think she booked enough time for me today if I want to actually get it done. You don't want to know how much I'm spending on it. You can Google it if you want. And you can say I'm horribly indulgent if you want to. Which sometimes I am. If I don't spend it on myself, who's gonna, you know? Here's one for the smokers, and really it's for me. Let's please put to rest the idea that I'm a smoking channel. I'm an everything channel. I'm not a reactor. I'm not an anything. I have no format. I have no... There's my male person. Um, I'm not a weight loss channel. I'm not a smoking channel. I'm not a beauty channel. I'm just living my best life, I suppose. These are not great today. They don't even look like they match, but these are my favorite lashes. Once again, they're from House of Lashes in the style Iconic Light. And they do feel really light. They feel very feathery. Where did I end off? Let's do a little um, highlighter with a small fluffy brush. I love this. This was my free gift from Ulta. This music makes me want to dance. I love Roberta Flack. All right, what should I do here? 
I'm gonna mix. I'm gonna mix this with this. I'm getting jowly. Look how jowly I am. So sexy. So carcinogenic. Let's put some of this strobe. I have so many eyeshadow brushes, but I wind up using my clean pinky. I'm also gonna get my nails done today. Today is my only day off. I worked over 60 hours last week, and today is a me day. Total self indulgence, self care, also cleaning my house. My son might come over tonight or tomorrow for lunch or dinner. And then I do the overnight tomorrow night. So I got some highlighter on, I got a little bit of blush. Let's do a little contouring so it looks like I have cheekbones. Another soft, fluffy brush. That's too fluffy. I need something with more structure. And just like that, I have a cheekbone. I'm gonna blend, don't worry. Look at the faces we make. And let's shade and shadow under the old double chin. I don't know how to do the nose contouring. I don't get that at all. Let's go in to my brow bone with Too Faced Melted Chocolate. A lot of nice rose gold shades. Actually, I'm just gonna use a matte beige up here. I should have put this on first. I'll put that on before I put something sparkly. You know what? I'm gonna keep trying to crack my neck. I like using um, a gold shimmer right to the middle of my eye. I see that on Milk Tea Reacts. I watch her too. She's a very gentle, sweet, soft-spoken British woman who lovingly roasts people. I like watching YouTube Underground, even though she's controversial in her approach, I just find her hysterical. I had three scrambled eggs this morning and bulletproof coffee and all my meds and vitamins. I slept probably seven or eight hours last night. I only got up once to pee. So I'm feeling pretty chuff and fresh and sassy today. Took two leaves for my chronic constant back pain. All right, these feel like they're shifting. All of this makeup's gonna wind up coming off, by the way, if she if she winds up doing my brows. Now I'm gonna take my biggest brush and blend. Can you even hear the music in the background? Right now it's uh, Donny Hathaway and Roberta Flack with "The Closer I Get to You." beautiful love song and they were involved with each other and he died tragically young I don't know if it was uh, an accident or a disease but 
think he was in his 30s or 40s. I'm telling you guys, I know it ages me and it dates me, but to me, the love ballads of the 70s and early 80s, can't beat it, can't touch it. The time period of 1980 to 1984, look at this hyperpigmentation I have here. My daughter's a nurse and she always worries about it. She's like, will you please wear sunscreen now that you're older? This is always what ages a woman. So I try to slather a lot of um, moisturizer there. Where was I? Am I still working on eyes? What do I want to find? Oh, this is good. This is my Mally. It's like a sailor blue. I'm going to put this under my eyes. Uh-oh, it's breaking. No, this is black. Oh, damn it. I didn't really want to do black. It makes for a harsh look. My dad died when I was 13 in 1980. He was only 38. I was raised in a cult and I dropped out of high school in 1984 because my mother got remarried to someone in the cult, much, much older than her. And they prevented me from going to school because I moved to another town. So I was depressed and I was in a cult and we were told that the world was gonna end and I dropped out. You wouldn't know it by my vocabulary. I escaped into a world of fantasy and books and reading. Later on in life, I escaped other ways, but that was then, this is now. Now I just buy a lot of makeup and jewelry and perfume. Aren't these pretty, by the way? These are orange crystals. All right, there's not good light here right now, so I don't know how any of this looks. True love in a special way. People don't like when folks vlog and don't speak. I don't know what to really talk about. I wrote a long ranty essay and I put it on Facebook today about um, how mind control and cult-like thinking is actually very pervasive in society and how people, if they have their way and they want to manipulate and control you, they like to try to take your identity away, re-spin it and hand it back to you so that you can fit their narrative and agenda which is usually based on ego. I'm putting this out now. There you go. I know you smoking people are not here to see me put on makeup. I really need to quit. I have cut down though. All right, so I think that's enough eye makeup. And uh, let's reapply a powder kiss. Wait a minute, is that my powder kiss? MAC Powder Kiss in, I don't know, I don't have my glasses out here. I forgot to put lip liner on again, which I'm told in aging thinning lips is a most valuable tool to overline a little bit and give yourself bigger lips. A fuller powder your mouth. This is like a bright fuchsia, isn't it? And now I make the cardinal sin of kind of just blending again with my hands. My hands are clean. I wish I could get a facelift. Actually, my face would look a lot thinner if I lost weight. So here's the new do, the hairdo. Once again, I forgot to put my balding powder on. I've got a lot of product in here already. She kept my bangs. This is more of like a bob shape. She kept my long sideburns. And my grays are already coming in. So guys, that's my look for this Saturday of errands and house cleaning and taking myself out to lunch in the town where I am getting my brows done because there's an incredible diner it has a lot of wonderful keto options. I'll probably get a huge spinach salad or a chef salad. I feel fat still today. I feel very swollen and bloated, but I'm, I'm doing it. I'm doing the damn thing. I'm doing low carb. I don't know if I should call it keto proper or not, but 
So far so good with the eggs and the bulletproof coffee, right? Which was a tablespoon of MCT oil, medium chain triglycerides, which helps uh, mental clarity and focus, and it helps you burn fat. Mixed in with two tablespoons of heavy cream in my coffee and three scrambled uh, organic free range brown eggs. I think that's it guys. This is like 15 minutes and then some. Uh, we'll see if it looks, if I look different in a different light. No, I look orange as hell. I think that's a trick of the camera. I'm not sure. Anyway guys, thank you for watching me and for sharing part of my morning and I'll let you go for now. When I come back, I'll show you my new brows. Peace.